everyone, how's it going? to Bloom here, and today's another BTD6 video. Today is going to be the brand new beginner map Winter Park on Chimps. So I just dropped the video a little earlier today for Adora's Temple. I hope you guys check that one out. So I used the new hero Adora, and she's amazing, guys. I, I love her. She's awesome. She's a power tower. So I was going to use her for this one, but then I was like, okay, well, I'm going to try the Pat Futsy because I saw on the stream last night when I was streaming the new maps and everything that some people didn't have enough monkey money for Adora. So I figured, hey, you're probably trying to beat the beginner maps and to get enough money for her. So I figured, hey, let's do this with the new skin. You guys can see that. And then if you're saving up for her, you can use her on the next time around once you buy her. So like I said, we're going to use Pat Fusty. Um, and if you guys didn't realize or didn't watch my other video, Ninja Kiwi's done a huge update. They've buffed some towers, they've nerfed some towers, they've added a new skin, two new maps, and a new hero who I am obsessed with. And I'm kind of bummed I'm not going to use her right now, but I figure we should try something a little different and show you guys the new skin in action too. So let's jump right in. But before we do, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave those comments below, follow on Twitch so you can see these live streams. You guys could have saw all this stuff last night as well if you're on Twitch. And then definitely follow on Instagram. I'm trying to get those 250 followers for the end of the year. It's just my little end of the year goal. If you guys want to help out with that, I will post more. I promise I, I don't post as much. So you're probably on there. You're like, why am I even following this guy? But I will, trust me. All right, so let's jump in. Like I said, this one is on chimps. Oh my gosh, I'm playing on the wrong save file, guys. That is not cool. That kind of scares me. Should I even continue? Well, whatever. I don't care. It should be fine, right? Okay. Really makes me nervous, though. I've beaten it on chimps already. I've, obviously, you've seen the video. So I'm a little scared if I play on this one, is it going to affect my save file? And then I won't have that one unlocked. Yeah, we'll see. So what we're going to do here, though, is we're going to start with a little boat. Uh, just right here. And... Let's do this. I'm kind of bummed I'm not using Adora though, because she's super awesome. But I know some of you might not have her, and so you really want to blackboard of this map, but you don't have the 5,000 monkey money. So I, it'll all work out. Let me know if that works out for you in the comments below, or if I'm just being crazy and I should have used her and her awesome abilities. But I just want to give a shout out to everyone in the stream last night. It was amazing. Um, this stuff is growing so quick and so awesome. And two new subscribers, and if you guys know, subscribing on Twitch is way different than youtube and it's just so cool and then someone actually donated me twenty dollars like i can't believe this is even a thing and that somebody donated me money i'm really appreciative and you're so awesome i unfortunately cannot give your name out on the stream because um it's inappropriate for youtube but you know who you are so thanks man i just love all the support and all you guys in twitch and youtube subscribers like you guys are so awesome so thank you so much and thanks to ninja kiwi too for making this new map and new hero and then the staff at ninja kiwi are so awesome i needed a the little picture of Adora for my last video so I can show you guys her, obviously for the thumbnail, because I want you guys to click and be like, who's this hero? And then you'll get to see. But um, I so I emailed Sam, who's from Ninja Kiwi, and he just gave it to me really quickly. And I'm like, you guys are awesome. You guys take care of your people, and that's just so cool. So um, without further ado, let's play this map. And you're going to see the awesome new Pat Fusty, Pat Fusty, Fusty the Snowman. It's going to be pretty fun. Um, we got... I'm so excited, I'm like messing up everything. I got grape shots here and we got just a regular dart monkey here just to keep us going. Um, I'm not digging that dart monkey, but what's gonna happen is, you know what, actually, I'm probably just gonna go with him as a tower. We'll probably just get a crossbow master. I'm feeling that right now just because I was gonna go with Adora as my main chick and I actually did a video on this one. I was gonna use her and then I made it to, um, cause I just did Impopable, like not too long ago. Um, let's put him here. Now let's put him here, I guess. Not here. So we can wreck everything, right? Yeah, there we go. So um, I put, I just played it on Impoppable and I saved all my money because, you know, it's Impoppable. So I had a lot of money and I was saving it all and I was like, okay, I won't use it. And if I should, I'll use the same amount of towers I should be able to use on chimps and it won't be an issue. Well, I did something different on chimps and messed it up. And then I died on like 98 and I was like, ah, oh, man. So let's just try the Pat Fussy skin. Maybe people will like that because then, they might not have her yet, so be kind of cool. But I'm definitely going to be using her in a lot more strategies, and I'm going to take advantage of her crazy OP power right now, of her overpower power, I guess that is the acronym for. And um, I'm going to try to finally beat like Quad, and what's the other ones, like Ouch on Chimps, just because 
like on quad, right? It goes, you need someone who can knock around the whole map and she definitely can. Use her first ability and it just hits the entire map. So, and it's these little ribbons of light that come out that are just awesome and she's super, super cool. But as you can see, I love Pat's little clown face snowman. He's pretty awesome too, you gotta love him. But uh, we got, we're gonna go with the cannon ship, so 032. We're gonna go with this guy. I'm so excited about all this stuff, guys. I'm such a nerd, but I love it. Okay, we're gonna get this guy to a crossbow because we're gonna go crossbow master, I'm thinking. And then what we'll do is we'll probably overclock him because overclock crossbow, you, you know, is 100% uptime because he costs less than $40,000 to get him there and you can't beat that. So um, pretty much what's gonna happen. And then we have Pat Fusty's ability is, what is he using, a, a broom? Is he whacking these things with a broom? That's my guy right now. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. And he has a top hat. You can't turn down anybody with a top hat, right? Like. When I'm playing Monopoly, I'm the top hat because he's just classy. There's no head underneath, but it doesn't need to be a head. It's, he's just classy on his own. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right. So enough blabbing on. I'm going to get this guy to 2160. We have our lead. We have our lead camo popping even. We have everything covered. This is going to be chill. This is going to be easy. Level 40 should not be an issue. And especially with our boat, who's just destroying half of the map over here. Um, what can we do? I can just alchemize these guys for now. Okay, let's do that. Put him like right here. Um, yeah, like right there. That works for now. So we'll get this guy to, we'll get him all the way up to 2700. And I think with that plus Pat and his ability, I think we'll be just fine. Cause Pat is super strong. We all know that, but I think he finally has a competitor as the strongest hero because this new one is amazing, Adora. So you guys gotta check her out. All right, so Berserker Brew. And I'm trying to remember what I said in my last video because you guys know when I fail a video, I'm talking to myself for a while and I have all my cool talking points and then I'm like, oh wow, what were those? Those were kind of fun. And then I forget them on the second round so I'd have a whole new topic of conversation. So it's pretty crazy. But I know in the last one, what I did mention and what I wanna bring up again is what is your guys, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, I know you all know Christmas songs because um, at least in the US, they're shoved down your throat. You go into any store and you hear them. You go into any radio station and you hear them. So I know everyone, even if you don't celebrate, knows Christmas songs. So what is your favorite one? And by what artist? Because there's not too many, they're just playing by different people. And if you guys have that, leave it below because I'm curious to see what all your guys' favorite holiday songs are. And I guess it doesn't have to be a Christmas song, it could just be a holiday song. But let me know your guys' favorite, and we'll start a little conversation on that. And speaking of comments, um, I'm sorry I haven't gotten back to you guys. Probably in like, I think it's like three or four days now I'm behind on my comments. And I'm going to use his ability right now, but that was way too easy. Okay, so I'm behind on my comments. And the reason being is because I'm going to be going out of town. I said it in my last video, but I'm going to be out of town. I'm going to my dad's in Nevada, and I live in SoCal, so it's going to be a long drive. So we've been prepping for that all week getting the brakes done on the truck and things like that because it's supposed to be snowing up there, but we'll see. But um, long story short, I'm going out of town, so I had to prep for that, so I haven't been able to hit my comments. And then Ninja Kiwi just drops these new updates on me yesterday, so I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to. So last night, instead of getting ready for my trip and making videos for Monday, I was like, oh, I gotta I gotta pump all these out. So I beat them all on hard, alternate balloon rounds and poppable, and now we're doing them on chimps for these videos. And I actually dropped a video earlier, as I mentioned, so Two videos in one day, getting kind of crazy. But where's I going with that? Oh, I'll be out of town, so I won't be streaming and I didn't have time to hit my comments. So hopefully I can this weekend in the downtime when I'm at my dad's, but if not, it'll have to be like Monday or Tuesday. So um, I promise though, guys, I will still reply to all my comments. I haven't stopped that. I've just been really busy. And I'm assuming as the holiday season comes up even more, it's gonna get even crazier, but I'm gonna do my best guys. So keep the love and keep the support. I will return it as much as I can. And thank you guys for being so awesome. What did he just add to him? Nothing yet. Okay, we need to get him to level 10 so we can get something cool. I thought he had a new hairdo, but I think he already had that hairdo. But he looks like the abominable Futsy, and I like that right now. Like a snowman mixed with the abominable snowman, right? That's probably what they're going for. So, Okay, so we need 27,000. I thought it was 25,000. Okay, 27,000. And if things get a little hairy, like I said, you can use your ability. But like for this, we have the crossbow over here. We have the boat. So I don't think we're going to need anything unless we got to clean it up. 
Um, I don't know if I've ever even used the crossbow in a chimps map, have I? On the video, anyway. So I'm pretty excited about this. We'll get him a tower, get some... Do I want primary training? Or I can just get two towers too, huh? Two villages. But, um, let's see. Hopefully we can not die right now. Okay, cool. Gotta love those critical hits, guys. Gotta love them. But it's always like when you're about to have the money you need is when it gets a little hairy, you know what I mean? So, hopefully this will be okay. I don't even have a camo village, huh? Like, we have no... Like, Pat's not helping out in the camo department at all at this moment. Okay, so... A 27, 27, ba boom. Sorry guys, I'm a little nervous here. Pop those things, pop those things. Okay, it's not even that bad. I just don't like, I don't wanna lose guys. We're already this far in. We've invested our time, our efforts, and our money into this guy making it to be the best. And he looks like Donatello from the Ninja Turtles right now with that purple headband. But we still, we still love him even though Raphael's our favorite, right? But if you guys know what the Ninja Turtles are, like, oh, duh, you guys know what the Ninja Turtles are. They made a, a movie about it recently, right? But I'm talking about like the old cartoons and the old video game on this NES or the Super NES, right? If you guys remember that, let me know below. But I doubt it. But they did, I saw, if you guys have been to like Walmart recently, they have those new like little mini arcades. I saw one with the Ninja Turtles. Like, I have to buy that. It was like 250 bucks. I'm like, oh man, that's, that's a little too much for that. But it would be super cool. But here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna get a village. And is he gonna be in range? I just wanna make sure the dart monkey's in range. We're gonna bigger radius, jungle drums, of course. Grow blocker, radar scanner for our pack. And I don't know if I want MIB or primary training. Um, MIB, I don't think it affects this guy, right? Cause he can already see lead and camo, if I'm mistaken. So I'm thinking primary training just to boost him up. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so um, next what we're going to do is we're going to get an overclock. And this guy's, or he's good. We'll just leave him like that for now. But we'll get an overclock. We can put him in range of the tower. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Put him there. We'll go larger service area. And then we know we've seen $14,580 for that overclock. And then we will have 100% uptime on our overclock for the crossbow master. And he's going to be legit. He already has this guy. Um, I might have to get another alchemist though, because as you can see, he's kind of lacking on hitting this guy, and I want him to be hit like all the time, so he's super strong. We'll see here, 2700, what's this guy do? Oh, tier one upgrade for free. Well, that's not gonna help us out any. We'll probably get a shattering shells as well, just because it'll help out for like 98 and stuff like that. But this is just a super easy, fun strat, so you guys can blackboard this map before anybody else does, because hopefully I got these out for you guys so you guys can jump on this if you're having trouble um i hope a, a 24 hours after the map is released is not too slow but the other one is a little sooner i'm assuming you saw that one on adora's temple and that was this morning so that's only like 12 hours later so yeah we'll see we almost got that 14,000 for this thing Whew, guys crazy 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 up all night with this stuff now. I'm back on this morning. I'm, I'm loving this though, guys. I'm loving it. My wife said they're like, we gotta go. We gotta drive seven hours. I'm like, it's important. It's for blooms. And so I'm a little, I'm a little crazy right now. A little crazy. And I haven't eaten breakfast and it's like 11.22 AM. I'm pretty hungry though. I think we're waiting to grab some food on the way out. Like this is thing we do. Every time we go on any type of trip that's longer than an hour, we always grab McDonald's on the way. I don't know why. It's like, I'm sure other people do it as well, but you probably have your own place, but McDonald's is like our go-to, we're going on a vacation, we're going on a trip. So we, we grab our McDonald's and we get on with our day. And it's like the the starter of the trip. You know you're going somewhere when you grab that Mickey D's. So um, I'm gonna grab me some McGriddle if it's not too late. They have those new chicken McGriddles if you guys have tried them, I'm pretty stoked about that. But um, yeah, 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 but probably not actually. It's kind of late, I'll probably just hit some Carl's Jr. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what's gotten into me, I'm just, I'm loopy today, but, oh, let's see, level 10, he has gloves now, and he has a scarf, oh yeah, he's ready to pound those things with his gloves, all right, but like I said, it's 100% uptime for this, meaning that this gear will stay above his head the entire time this circles around and regenerates, so as long as I can keep hitting it, he will keep having it, but I will forget many, many times, guys, as you know, and that's why I am me, but... Guys, also, I hope you saw that video on, um, what was it? 
the one I did. On Spice Islands, if you didn't know that you could put Pat on water, one mind blown, right? But did you know that you can use the aircraft carrier to make him speedier because he makes all water towers speedier? You can make Pat even faster. So it's just super fun because I know people were getting on me for not using the Alchemist, but that's just, honestly, I would have used the Alchemist that whole video, but I have a real weird thing about it. Like, like right now, the Alchemist is only hitting these three. I, I would hate it if I had like 10 towers here and the Alchemist is randomly hitting people and I didn't have enough to cover them all. That drives me crazy. I have like this weird OCD with that. So that being said, I didn't do that. And I just tried to do it with just what I had and it worked. So it's pretty cool. But now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a bunch of stalls in here and either that or what do you guys think? We can stall out or we can get, no, nah, we'll do that. Never mind. I changed my mind so much. I'm sorry guys, but this is a, off the top of my head kind of map, so it'll be kind of fun. We're gonna put this guy, oh, I wanted him here, but the alchemist in the way. Um, you know, we could just get another alchemist, right? Let's do that. So we're gonna get this guy to the tack zone. And the reason I put him here is because once we get the tack zone, that thing has crazy range. So I figured him with him, they both have primary training, they both have an alchemist. It's gonna be unreal and get real crazy. And as you can see, 78's nothing. As long as I can overdrive this thing, we're pretty cool. And this guy, we can even 100% overclock him if you want to grab another overclock because he's under 30 or under 40,000. So I love primary towers, guys. They're super cool. I wish on the beginner, you know how when you beat the beginner maps, the second one is primaries only. I think that'd be pretty cool for chimps. Like they should switch them up every now and then. So instead of having like magic monkeys all the time, do like primary the next time. Or just skip double HP Moabs all together and put in primary. That'd be pretty fun. What are we looking for? 25,000, so they raised the price of that thing too recently too, huh? But I don't know all of the updates. I wanted to tell you guys, but I don't read them because I'm just busy making the videos. But I know for a fact they like nerfed the, the VTSG, the, the only can be one sun god. So for all of you who use that frequently, um, let me know what you guys think of that below and what exactly was taken out of it. But let's get that tax zone for now. So as a recap, my friends, we have this guy's 025 Crossbow Master, who is amazing. We have the Tax Zone, who is also amazing. We have Overclock, that we can overclock this guy. Um, we have the new Pat Fusty with his cool Frosty the Snowman skin. What's up, Fusty the Snowman? And we have this guy on primary training since we have the Tax Zone and the Crossbow Master. And we have an Overclock to 100% overclock this guy. And we're gonna do that right now, boom. Okay, so I do need another alchemist because my boat is in the way, which I've already told you guys, but that is why I love, love, love the new hero because when you're not feeling it, you can just sacrifice them for experience and you can get rid of having the towers that you don't want. So when you have to start a game with some ugly towers like a dart monkey that you don't want to keep or a boat, you just get rid of them and it gives her experience to level up, make her even stronger. So I'm obsessed with the new tower or the new hero and I would love to use her even more and I will definitely continue to do so. I think all next week's gonna just be a, an Adora spotlight because I adore her. Okay, so let's do this. Out of the range of the Alchemist. Um, am I in an Alchemist range? No, I'm not. So let's just put him right here. I'm missing something here. Right there. Okay, guys, I'm the worst at placing towers. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Put him on strong. Now he can see camo, he's gonna stop everything. We're going to get a glue gunner also out of range of the alchemist right here, right there. So no alchemist, but it's in range. So it's still getting that primary training from the village and it can see camo. We're going to go one, two, one, two, three, and put him on strong as well. So basically what we're going to do is just pop all the big things down to little things and let the tack zone and the crossbow take care of it. I should have been doing that and I forgot again to overclock. This is super cool, you just stall in the front and then kill in the back, it's pretty awesome. We're gonna add one more staller to it just to make it even more fun. We're gonna grab a boomerang monkey, put him right here, and put him on one, two, one, two, three, four. Boom, put, just leave him on first, it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna wreck it right now, wreck it Ralph it. And I'm done, I'm done. We're just gonna attack this thing and go at it. The only thing I'm probably going to do if we have the money, which we definitely will, because we're only at 90 and we're pretty much where I want to be. So what I'm going to do is probably most likely grab, I don't know, really don't know at this point, guys. 
We could double overclock, like overclock the crossbow and overclock the um, the tax zone. That'd be kind of fun. Do we need to? Probably not. Um, we could get, let's get the Relentless Grilu just because we can. We could get an Ice Tower. That'd be kind of fun. Let's play it by ear, guys. Let's just have fun with it. Get the crossbow. But I think a double overclock would be kind of nice because we could just overclock both of these and it would just be really cool. But the overclock did get buffed too. So it went down from 100% speed increase to 80%, which I think is enough to mess up some of my previous strategies, but I don't think it's going to be enough that we're going to have like too much of an issue. But like I, someone just left me a comment on the one I did for Cracked. And that'll probably affect that because on like 97 or 8, I had a really like, it was a weird time and I almost lost. So without that super speed buff, like the extra 20%, it might cause it to be a problem. So if you haven't beaten Cracked on Chimps and you haven't watched that video, um, do me a favor and try that one out and try that strat on your Chimped or on Cracked Chimped on cracked chimps and let me know if it's outdated because I've been getting a lot of those comments too that a lot of my videos are outdated due to the increase in the game or the nerfs and things like that and so I'm gonna have to start redoing some things here but I think what I am gonna do here is um, let's double overclock yeah let's try it I've never done that am I gonna be able to keep up with it probably not but eh, whatever but we'll do that one, two, three, four. And slow it down when you're overclocking, at least you should, because I forget a lot of the times. And so what happens is, is I go to overclock and it's like, hang on, let me, let me talk and do this at the same time. So when I go to overclock, the problem is, is that um, there's like that little delay. And if you have a ton of DDTs coming out, that could be the life or death of you. And if you click the wrong tower, so I just slow down when I'm gonna overclock just to make sure I'm safe. But now we have these both overclocked 100% of the time, as long as I can remember to click the little button. So as soon as it comes up, I'm gonna hit it, hit this guy, and then the next one will be the next one. And you just keep doing it in a cycle and you're chilling. And you got these unlimited powerful beasts going and just keep on attacking. So. We're gonna have money left over. We're gonna wreck this thing. We could even grab a first strike or like a Moab Eliminator to take out the rest. But other than that, I think we're kind of chilling, guys. We even had Pat Futsy's ability. So on top of having these things super overclocked, we can use Pat on like level 98 or 99 when it gets a little hairy. But look at this though, guys. This is unreal. This is super cool. Um, but yeah, I might, just for safety reasons, let me overclock both of these real quick. Okay, overclock this guy. And then what I'm gonna do here is, like I said, just for safety reasons, I'm gonna grab this guy. Oh no, I have to put him in range of the alchemist. That's a bummer. Okay, now I'm gonna overclock this guy to make sure I'm up with my times. We're still good. And I'm gonna get this guy to a first strike. Like I said, just in case, but we don't need it. I don't think we'll need it. I'm not gonna use it unless I have to. I'm thinking that we can pop him down off of the purple bad, like right here and just call it a day and be over it. So uh, I'm gonna use Pat's ability right now because we're getting a little out of hand here. Um, I need to overclock my crossbow, of course, and then overclock this guy right now. Boom, okay. Now we can speed up a little bit until it comes back. Okay, I think we're gonna be chilling. Yep, look at that, popped all those DDTs. So, like I said, I don't think we're gonna have to use the first strike, but we might. So I'm going to right now use Pat's ability. Use the ability, there you go. I'm going to overclock as soon as it comes up. Let's see, overclock the crossbow. Mind you, him and the this guy have not been unoverclocked this entire time. They've been just doing their thing. And it looks like we're just fine, guys. So pretty cool. As you can see, double overclocking a tack zone and a crossbow master with a pat is super legit because pat is stalling him and popping him and he has that crazy first ability and then we have the moab press and the sniper and the glue gunners just doing wreckage so i want to see how far this could actually go so i think i might actually do that for another video just do like a crossbow master i want to try crossbow master and like maybe crossbow master adora and an alchemist i feel like they could take it to the to the distance like just go for it but in the meantime, guys, 
Like I said, I will be out of town, so there will not be a stream tomorrow morning, Saturday. I am sorry for that. So I know there's a countdown on the, my actual Twitch page. I just put that up there, but um, um, it, it's wrong. I don't know how to change it at the time. So um, it's wrong for tomorrow because I won't be streaming tomorrow, but I will be back Wednesday and I'll probably do like another little hidden stream like I did yesterday just for because I need to get these in there and I want to play with you guys and it's super fun. So. Um, I will probably be on Monday or Tuesday to stream as well as then I'll be back to my normal stream of things on Wednesdays and Saturdays and of course I'm keeping up with my videos so I actually this video is actually going to be put on a flash drive after I'm done editing it taken to my mom's house I'm gonna shove it in her computer and then I'm gonna upload it to YouTube and I'm gonna tell her you can't click publish till six o'clock but I'm gonna put in all the um, thumbnails and everything put all the tags for her get her ready for it and then we're gonna just do it that way and i think it's gonna be kind of funny because if something goes wrong and this video is not out by like 6 or 7 p.m pacific that's why because there's technical difficulties but i'm really looking forward to everything and thank you guys so much just for being so awesome and i hope you guys like this video and this new map and the new skin check out my other video i'll put that up at the end of this thing and then the little poppy up thingy and that will show you the new hero, the other new map, and the new crazy stuff going on in this game. So thank you guys so much. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you liked it. Um, follow on Instagram. Follow on Twitch. And just thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time.